the internet changed everything. My first lifelines, my first community, were you know weird people on the internet who had no idea uh, what my body looked like or how I presented myself. The MMORPGs was really where I suppose I as Kate was born. My entire transition can be described through video games, pretty much. I found that I did a lot of dreaming and I would constantly have to bring myself back to focus on what the teacher was actually saying because I would be off in a different world dreaming of flying around the world. Not only as a pilot, but as a woman. It's always that like straight white cisgender guy with like a little bit of stubble. You know, that, that guy is in everything and I have nothing against that guy, but I'm just bored of him. Right now we're kind of assuming that all of our viewers are heteronormative and that's just untrue. We need trans people, people of color, queer people in games because it makes things interesting. I'm trying to repopulate the literary world with folk tales and myths and stories that I would be interested in reading. All my work leaves little puzzles. It's just kind of little vestiges of identity come out in odd ways. Most of the people who believe uh, strongly in a meritocracy are starting from a position of fairly substantial privilege. The imperative that I was to transition in the workplace, they just walked me out the door. That's all. It was that simple. I would self-identify as a very huge geek. I always loved Zelda. Metroid. Final Fantasy. I am a writer. I am a graphic designer. I am a professional concept artist. I told a friend that I wanted to go to uh, hacker school. I like to describe myself as the quintessential gamer geek. I wanted to be a rock star, literally. <laughs>